strong but it's not that strong I mean remember the index it is strong but it is not that strong okay let me show you uh, I mean it's coming down so all what I had I had this big day so I had a, a decent day on Friday so if I put even the weekly chart uh, yes it is strong but as I said it is not that strong if you look at the weekly chart you see how weak the close is and that's actually a sell signal on the index the weekly y yen is giving me a sell signal okay so going back to the intraday or to the spot cash and I see this and now I have two points that concern me it traded below a structural point which is the 87 the 82 87 and it only gave me 30 pips that's quite a concern because I should have had capitulation I should have had a move all the way down to the 81 but I only got 30 pips out of that move and if you look at the intraday chart that is a strong uptrend on the intraday and this move here we got one structure failure with no capitulation real capitulation another structure failure and it held at the structure so what this says is yes I am grinding to the downside yes the dollar is weak but the yen is also weak you're taking two weak currencies against each other so eh, we are going to be short the dollar yen but we're going to be very careful so in order to sell it we are only going to sell it below the 82.50 so we're only going to short below 82.50 and we're going to be skeptical about that short we want to make sure that we have capitulation if it breaks below 82.50 my stop is going to be right there above 82.70 I'm only going to give it 20 pips and if it comes back above the 87, 82, 87, I am buying it. We are going to be buying it in the room whenever we have the signal to buy it. But the guys who are with us for the first time, your buy signal is the 82, 87. So, the easy trade is the yen. And we have to be careful. It shouldn't be one of the top choices because you're trading two weak currencies against each other. The dollar is weak and the, the, pa the, the yen is not that impressive. So as you see from last week, this is our buy signal, the 8287. It is also our structure long. And if we do, it is also going to be our stop. Okay. I'm only going to go short below 8252. I mean, last look at this. We had it from last week, 8254. So it's one and the same. But I'll keep it 8252. And if I do go short below the 82.52, my stop is above the 82. And that's, I mean, this is one of the nice things, guys, when you're doing trading based, about, based on price behavior. You would always see that the market technically behaves in a similar fashion at or around the same point. So having, going a short stop at 82.70 you can see that from last week it is having the same structure your stop is at 82.66 so they're pretty much in the ballpark and that what again gives you an additional comfort okay so that is the dollar yen we are, let's, let's wrap it up so we're going to go long above 82.87 and if our structure long is the 82.87 and if we do come to buy it we are not going to give it any room to go against us, so our long stop is going to be the 82.87. And since we didn't have any capitulation, we're going to go short below the 82.55. And if I do, 
I'm placing my stop be above 82.66. I'm not going to give it too much room. And my next structural point is the historical structure point of 81.12. Okay? That is the dollar yen.